Live, we are about an hour out from the next big ballot drop. Will it be enough to sway the final races that have been to this point too close to call? Jason Berry is live at the county recorder's office tonight. How's it going out there, Jason? It's going okay. Tonight's ballot drop we're hearing will be about 70 to 80,000 ballots, which is a lot considering Maricopa County only has about 94,000 ballots left to count. Now, this was the scene inside Maricopa County's tabulation center today. Results from today's ballot drop could decide the Arizona governor's race, where Katie Hobbs leads Cary Lake by about 24,000 votes. Now, if Lake doesn't make a significant jump tonight, she may run out of time and ballots. There are only about 150,000 ballots left to count statewide. Just a short time ago, Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone announced that additional security will be provided outside election headquarters as we get closer to final results being announced. He wants to send a message to the public to avoid any criminal behavior following these races being called. If you truly believe in our nation and, and uh, and our foundation and our principles, then you recognize that elections, not everybody is a winner, not everybody is happy on that day, but it is a part of who we are, that we respect the opportunities for everyone, that uh, elections are designed so that the majority have to say who's going to be in leadership, and if you're not on the successful end of that conversation, then you work towards the next election if you want to see change. Now today, Carrie Lake and her supporters were busy on social media telling people to check their vote through the website BeBallotReady.Vote to make sure their vote was counted. And that prompted some concerns from people who said their vote wasn't counted, but in most cases, voters had simply not entered their information correctly. Now with all these Arizona races coming down to the wire, it really does show that every vote counts. Jason, we have seen some people gather outside the recorder's office. Have they been peaceful? What are they saying? Yeah, everything was pretty peaceful today. We went outside and spoke to a few of them today. Uh, there was more than a dozen, about a dozen or so folks who were outside. They were waving flags. They were singing songs. They said they had some concerns about how the uh, ballots were being counted, and I asked if they had any specifics or any details, and they just didn't have any factual information about any specific wrongdoing. Uh, this is a very big deal. Very live tonight for us. Thank you. We could finally see results in our state's biggest races tonight. Yeah, we are still waiting to find out who our next governor will be, the attorney general, as well as state superintendent.